Well, this is, this is a Christmas story I'd like to share with you, but when you first hear the story, you might wonder why I think it's a Christmas story. We all like Christmas, right? We like getting gifts. I like getting gifts. I like giving gifts. So think about that. I'm going to read this story, and then um, uh, we'll talk about why I think it's a Christmas story. It's a story about Jesus going into a town, and he meets ten lepers. Now, most people might not know what a leper is. A long time ago, people had diseases just like we have now. And one of the worst diseases was called leprosy. What happened to the lepers was they were banished. They had to be kept distant from everybody else. They couldn't get close to others. We probably now understand how those lepers might have felt a little better because we know we have to have these, right? A mask, and we're, what are we supposed to do? Keep our distance, six feet apart, just like the grizzly bear. Well, for the lepers, that was what they were asked to do, and there was no hope for the leper that he would ever have anything else in his life. So think about that, and I'll read you this short story from the 17th chapter of Luke. And you all know who Luke was. He was a man who lived in the time of Jesus. So, as Jesus entered the town, ten men, all lepers, met him. They kept their distance, but raised their voices, calling out, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Taking a good look at them, he said, Go show yourselves to the priests. They went, and while still on their way, became clean of leprosy. One of them, when he realized that he was healed, turned around and came back, shouting his gratitude, glorifying God. He kneeled at Jesus' feet, so grateful. He couldn't thank him enough, and he was a Samaritan. Samaritans were people who were not respected by the Jewish community. Jesus said to him, were not ten healed? Where are the other nine? Can none be found to come back and give glory to God except this outsider? Then he said to the man, get up, on your way. Your faith has healed and saved you. So, why do I think this is a Christmas story? Well, we all like to get gifts, and we all like to receive gifts. And why is it that we celebrate Christmas? It's because Jesus came. Jesus came to us on Christmas Day, which is what we celebrate, his birthday. But in the same way, he came to those ten lepers in that town. Christmas really is about Jesus coming, about God coming to earth, to us. So, here's the question. When you receive a gift at Christmas, what is it you're supposed to say? Probably someone in your house instructs you that you have to say thank you. That's the idea of receiving a gift, one of the ideas, is that you recognize the giver and that you say thank you. So in this story, we've got the 10 lepers, and interestingly enough, some of them don't have very good manners. They don't say thank you. They just keep going. The one who seemed least likely to say thank you comes back and says, thank you. I wonder if Jesus was pleased with that. 
I wonder if God is pleased when we say thank you. Because I think the point of this story is that Jesus is with us all the time. And we need to think about the gifts that we are given. And then when we think about those gifts, we should say thank you and glorify God. So this is really kind of a simple story, but it might be something you want to talk about with in your house with your parents and your brothers and your sisters about some questions. What happened to the other nine lepers? Why didn't they say thank you? Were they healed just the same as the Samaritan leper who said thank you? And then I wonder, when did they realize they were healed? They didn't realize it right away. It says they left and they were on their way. And then one realized he was healed. Maybe it's like when you fall off your bicycle and you scrape your knee and it hurts for a couple of days and then one day you wake up and you think, oh, my scraped knee doesn't hurt anymore. And then you say thank you. So think about this story. Think about every day being Christmas and think about saying thank you and glorifying God.